Good afternoon with Greenhouse by the Garden. How are y'all doing today? It is another humid day here in East Tennessee. I think it's gonna rain. They're calling for thunderstorms just here again, off and on for the next four or five days. And yeah, just coming out to check everything before it rains. So I just wanna to talk to you guys today a little bit about um, Coreopsis, because I know this is a common one that people um, have in their flower beds or gardens. And I just love the Coreopsis. Mine are in full bloom right now. Now, I usually deadhead mine to keep them going really good. So with Coreopsis, their blooms are just gorgeous. And they often last through the end of the summer. But you're not going to get the maximum blooming if you don't deadhead them. So what I would do is regularly cut off the flowers that are spent or finished. Um, use, use pruners and cut off the spent blooms. I would probably do it once a week before they go to seed. And I will get my little pruning scissors and show you guys exactly how I do it. Because I just want these guys to keep going. They're so pretty. Alright, I got my scissors and I'm going to show you guys how I prune them and, you know, when they need it. And if you want maximum blooming, um, this is something I recommend doing because I just like to keep mine blooming as long as they will. It is the beginning of June right now, and if you continue with this process, you'll have flowers all through summer. And they'll, they'll bloom better because a lot of the energy will continue to go to the flowers that are spent, like this one, for example. That one is ready to be deadheaded. No need for that one on there anymore, and it'll give more energy to go into making the blooms that are like these right here. They're going to be opening up very soon. Now you can see this one. Now right where the stem comes up from the base right there you can go ahead and snip that one that way all the energy is not going into this anymore because there's no need for that and it will go to seed and you want to do that before you know the plant starts going to seed easy way to keep it all going now that was the first one i had these started blooming last week and they'll just kind of stagger all throughout the summer and that was the first bloom that I've removed. Um, they will continue blooming all throughout the summer. And just do that every time you see one. Or, you know, come out here once a week if you don't want to do it every day. But it will help these little blooms that are fixing to open up and encourage more. Because you can see them all down through there where they're starting. Yeah, very easy to do. Also another version of Coreopsis, and I do the same thing with these. These are, I guess, I don't know, call them a more dainty version. And they've got lots of tiny little yellow um, buds that come out. And I end up deadheading a lot of these off. You know, right after they're spent, I just cut them kind of the same way. And they produce as well, really good. This is a very easy plant to grow. Um, they like different conditions. They do well in the heat. And this area right here in my flower bed actually um, doesn't get a lot of sun like some areas and they still do really well. I have a river birch tree above so it provides a lot of shade but they still do really well. 